Good Lord, that is excellent. <laughs> American women make better cocktails, and I'll fight anyone who disagrees. <laughs> Just keep piling on the charm, and maybe I won't notice that you are here with an agenda. Mm. Another great American quality, getting down to brass tacks. <laughs> well, I know you think Nicholas was killed in New York, and I was one of the last people to see him alive, so your curiosity is understandable. Mm. I'm glad you feel that way. <sighs> Sadly, I can't offer any insight on Nicholas's death. Now, how did a clever woman like you get entangled with so many homicidal men? <laughs> so we're already down that road, are we? You must have been furious when your latest paramour turned out to be a murderous thug. Jessica Whitley played for a fool yet again. So, I killed Nicholas. <laughs> Perhaps I did it after his thug stabbed Gil in the gut and I sat by my dying friend in the hospital. Or maybe during Gil's surgery. I took a little trip to the snack machine and lured Nicholas back to my lair and killed him. Right here. Or most likely, Detectives Powell, Tarmel, and I stayed by Gil's side as he clung to life. Is that alibi sufficient for you? I cannot believe I made you a martini. Well, I'm very honored to have been invited to your home. It's quite perfect. Yes, it is. Which is why it's puzzling you would even suggest that Nicholas Endicott was killed here. Oh, I was just... I never would have imagined that this very room might be the scene of the crime. His throat was slit, you know. A bloody business, that is. And now I'm noticing this brand new rug. It's less sun-drenched than its counterpart. I've met some terrifying men in my day. So if you're trying to scare me, you're gonna have to do better than this. Now, I hope you enjoy your stay in New York. I intend it to be a short trip. Family meeting, now! You should have called me the second he showed up. I guess that wouldn't have seemed suspicious. She has a point. No idea what I've been doing to keep this family safe. No, we don't. Because you do not let us in. Oh, what would you like to know? How I've been dishonest with my team? Or maybe you'd like to know about the thumb in my freezer. Wait, what? I do not want to know that. Just letting you in. Okay, well, I for one think we've done a pretty good job in regards to this murder. Are you listening to yourself? Oh, come on, you know what I mean. Do you even see what you are doing to him? What you have done to all of us by killing Nicholas! I was trying to save us. Stop, stop. If we have any hope of getting out of this, we need to stick together. From here on out, nobody talks to Simon Hoxley. He has our whole family in his crosshairs, and we will sink or swim together. Got it? Got it. The problem is, there's one more member of the Whitley family. <laughs>